Are you under new management? It is a question that demands for an answer. Are you under new management? Let me give you an introduction of this message. There was a certain businessman He had a very dishonest and disagreeable partner in that business. And this partner he has in his business almost ruined his business through shady and dishonest transactions. Instead of this man's business growing, the business was going down. The man was disturbed because of who is in partner with in that business. What am I trying to say? Whosoever you are in partner with determines the result you get. This is a time you look inwards into your life, personal life. Whom are you really in partnership with? Because the team is redeeming the time. For the days are evil. It is no longer a time you live your life the way you feel like living it. This is a time you look inwards. Place yourself before a spiritual mirror. Examine yourself. Because whomsoever you are in partnership with determines the result you will have. So this very man, the only thing to save the business is to get a more reliable partner and separate from the first. Before you became a Christian, you were in partnership with somebody who governs you, who directs you, who tells you what to do, what not to do. Where you will speak the truth, the person you are in partnership with will tell you, no, don't say the truth, but rather lie. Before you, came, you became a believer, the person you were in partnership with commands you, hate this person. Don't love and you obey. Before you became a believer, someone is in partnership with you. Who never wants you to look up to heaven and say, Jesus, you are my Lord. So the time we are now is a time you look inwards. 
and begin to re-examine yourself. This person I was in partnership with in the past, does he still have control over me? Have I really finished my partnership with him? Now look at what happened to this very man in question. That the only thing to save his business is for him to do away with this dishonest partner and get a more reliable one. But after he had done this, yet the business did not pick up. The business remained the same. He has separated himself with the first partner. Has brought in another partner. But looking at the business still, the business is still at a standstill. There are believers today who have claimed they have done away with the devil. But when you still look at their lives today, they are at a standstill. They are not moving forward. Neither are they moving backward. They are just stationary. So this very man's business was now standstill. He became more worried. He was so much disturbed that he went to a friend and told him about his bitter experience. Every believer need a counselor. And who would you like to be a counselor? Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit be a counselor. Amen? So this man told his friend what he's experiencing. The friend now came to counsel him and told him number one no one knows you have changed partnership. People have not seen it that you have done what? Changed partnership. But to you, you feel you have changed the partnership. But people who come into your business, people who come into your life, people who know you be at the beginning, they have not come to understand that you have changed partner. That was number one advice from his friend. He went further and told him, they still think your former partner is still managing the business. They still see you because of the way you are doing things. They are still seeing you that the old partner is still in charge. So you must do something for people to know. <laughs> I have separated myself from my former partner. I know of somebody he will tell you he doesn't eat chicken But when they boil egg and give to him, he will finish one egg. 
And he will tell you he doesn't eat chicken. And when his children are eating, he will use his teeth to share the chicken for the children. But he will tell you, I don't eat chicken. Praise the Lord. You know, egg is not chicken. Am I correct? Uh, it's different. Then the man went further to advise him. You must, you must advertise your change of management. Take down the old sign. We said Smith and Jones. And put up the new partner's name, Brown and Jones. Then when people read it, they will now see you have fully separated. But when the old signboard remains there, they still see you as being in the partnership of the other first person. Brethren, that is what is going on in our lives today as Christians. The old signboard we were carrying, we are still up with it. I remember those days when my mama here, they were in the choir, you hear them sing one song, I've never go back to Satan, never again in my life, never again. I say I hear. I will never go back to devil, never again in my life, never again. <laughs> Now, through you talk, you have not removed the old signboard. People are yet to know. People are yet to believe that your first partner is no longer with you. Brethren, when this man was counseled, the old signboard came down and the new sign went up. I tell you, brethren, people will never know you have changed partnership until you begin to live the life that is new. If you say you have changed partnership, you are still in the same old way, you have not changed partnership. Never. Immediately the man brought down this old signpost and lifted up the new one. He went into advertising it. He said the change was not advertising the papers as follows. John Smith and John Jones have separated and dissolved partnership. Charles Brown is now a member of the firm in the capacity of manager. Business at the old stand, but under new management with entire new policy. When people read it, they came in, they saw with their eyes that there is a change of policy and there is a change of partnership. The business woke up again and the man was happy. Beloved, when you change partnership and they allow the Lord Jesus now to become your new partner, changes must come. Until people begin to see changes in the word of your mouth, changes in your attitudes, changes in the way you do things 
not only here in the church, in fact, even here in the church, we still display it. You can imagine where people will come in the church. They left home, they came to church. After some time, you see them walking outside the church, standing outside there. Some will be going to the vehicle mirror to admire their makeup. What nonsensical nonsense. You came to church to advertise your makeup? That if you stay a bit in the church, you run outside, you go to the car mirror, you open your bag and bring out brush and message is on in the house of God. You are not in the church. You are not under a new management. The man you are in partnership with at the beginning is still with you. No one sees something they cut with teeth and say it is with knife. Because what a knife cuts must be different from what you use your teeth to cut. A good farmer does not go to corn and begin to press, to open, to see the matured one. Just with a look, you will know this corn is matured. If you are a good farmer. Allow people to see you as a Christian indeed. Let us not be pretending. Hypocrites have no part in the kingdom of God. Show whom you are. Let people know whom you are. Hallelujah. Don't worry. Any day they bring out the team that we will speak, the one you will jump up and celebrate, we will do that. But the team today is redeeming the time. For the days are evil. Time no longer. If you want to be a Christian, be a Christian. And let people see you. That truly, you are a believer. If you don't want to be, why pretend? Why? Why? Choose your own path and go that way. So this very man's business started booming because he advertised. And a dissolved partnership with the devil. Because the Bible said. In 1 John chapter 3. First epistle of John chapter 3. Verse 8 and 9. The sinner is in company with the devil. Any man that is a sinner. You are in partnership with the devil. Can the operator please put it on the screen? First epistle of John chapter 3, verse 8 and 9. He says, he that committed sin is of the devil. Anything called sin that you commit, you are in partnership with the devil. If it is lie. Jesus can never command you to lie. Holy Spirit can never command you to lie. The moment you lie, you are under the partnership of the devil. He is the one who influenced you to lie. Has it been cleared again? He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, 
the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Verse 9 said, Whosoever is born of God, whosoever is born of God, does not commit what? Sin. If you are still committing sin, you are yet to be born of God. Check whom you are in partnership with. For his seed remained in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. See, when you are born of God, you cannot commit sin. Pride will be far away from you. Deceit shall be far away from you. Because the seed of God is now inside of you. Church, praise the Lord. But when we are saved, that relationship with the devil is broken and we go into partnership with God. We now come under a new management. Beloved, right now, as you are in this temple of God, can the world tell about you as a Christian? Can your family, where you come from, Stand with boldness to say, This person is a Christian indeed. Can your neighbors in the market, can your neighbors in your office, when you carry Christ inside of you, your tongue must change. You speak with new tongues. I mean, can the world today stand to testify about you? Can your neighbors in the market square where you do your business, can they stand out boldly to say yes? Since this woman has been selling in this market, we have seen her to be a true believer. Last year, can your neighbors tell and do they know you? Do they know you have changed partners? Will men and women know today that you are in partnership with God and under a new management and entire new policy? Have you informed the world? When we sing here, I'll never go back to Satan, never again in my life, never again. How can you go back to devil again in, the, in your life when you are in the church? Outside the church. Outside the church, what happens? Outside the church. You sang that song here. When you go to the market, you sing that song. When you are in office where you work, do you sing that song? When people offend you, do you sing that song? How many of us can people stand to testify? I visited home. Somebody who never saw me for over 30 years. saw me, people greeting me, Apostle, Apostle. The lady asked them, what do they, are they calling me? Apostle? They said, yes. <laughs> he come to me, he said, I beg no vex. Are you an apostle? I said, yes. 
He said, God, you do well. <laughs> do you hear what she said? God, you do well. That if this man can change, nobody cannot change. <laughs> she reminded me my old life. Then when I walked away from there, she went and started interrogating people about me. And the new report now she was having was different from what she knew me to be. I was almost ready to ask God, come and take me home now. That people are bearing witness for me. You must stand out different. Apostle Paul said, I am separated. Separated for the gospel. He had changed partnership. He's no longer what he was in the past. So brethren, please, I beseech you, Take down the old sign and light up the new one. For the Bible said in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, If therefore any man be in Christ, let people begin to see that new creature in you. Not just by reading it from the scripture. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things. Old things. Old partner. Old commander. Are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Peace be still. Somebody go and see. Go, go. Give way, give way, give way, give way. All right, the priest is here. Let's give attention here. Church, praise the Lord. Say, if anyone be in Christ, that all things passes away, and all things about the man becomes new. Show yourself as a new creature. Live the life of a new creature. Let the words of your mouth be words of a new creature. Let your actions be actions of a new creature. In Romans 1.1, 1, 1, Apostle Paul was telling the people of Rome that he is now completely under management. He was bold to stand before the people of Rome and was now introducing himself to them. Before, you know me to be like this, but now this is whom I am. I am now an apostle of Jesus Christ, called and separated. I am called and now separated. Apostle Paul made the people to know he is under new management that he had dissolved his partnership with Satan and is now in partnership with God. And to prove this, because when you tell people whom you are, you must prove it. You don't just say it and end it there. You must prove it because people must watch you to see if what you said is real.
I was driving my car with clergy on it. I was driving very furious because I want to meet up with time for where I was going to. The road safety, they were flagging me down, flagging me down. I stopped. They said, uh -uh. Oh, sir. Now you they run this kind of speed and you be clergy. That word alone arrested me. I now apologize. Please, I am sorry. I am running to meet up with time. They said, also, it's better to be late than delayed. I said, thank you. Do you know when they allowed me pass, I started condemning myself. Hey! Waiting market me so, na clergy. Oh, hey, I don't betray clergy. God have mercy on me. Because when whatever you tell people you are, they must watch you. You must prove it. So Apostle Paul, to prove what he told the people of Rome, he started to preach Christ to others. The Christ he was against before. The name he never wanted to hear with his ears before. He started now preaching that name. To get the people convinced that he has dissolved his partnership with the devil. He's now under new management with God. And those who were running away from him before, we are now coming closer to him. Brethren, that is the way it ought to be. By this, he advertised his separation from the devil. As he started preaching, he's now showing to the people, he who was controlling me before is no longer the one in me now. You see, when we say he that is in me is greater than he that is in the world, I am carrying greater thing in me than he that is in the world. What type of word comes out of your mouth as somebody carrying a greater thing? What type of action comes out of you as someone carrying a greater thing? He that is in me is greater, is higher, is mightier than he that is in the world. While he that is in the world that is in you is mightier. Praise God. Once separation from the world finds its best way in advertisement, it's in the testifying tongues. Tongues that can stand boldly to testify of Christ. Tongues that is backed by a consistent and consecrated life. Advertise you are being under new management today by telling somebody about who? Jesus. I went to a church last Sunday in my home. They saw in a revelation uh, that they should pray against the evil spirit that is troubling that branch. I called the pastor, please, you have to make that prayer with your people. I will not join you. Because if I join and pray, people will die. They say, how? I say, no evil spirit is troubling the church. You are the evil spirit that is troubling the church. Then how can I make such prayer? You will die. 
I now gave them an example. No police from Bini can go to Kaduna to arrest somebody without, first of all, going into the police barracks at Kaduna and report their presence. And the police there will give them another one from Kaduna attached to them to go and make the arrest. So no spirit has power to come from outside to attack you in this church if there is no evil inside this church. They come in, obtain permission, and then come to operate. If I pray now, that evil spirit, whoever, that on a begin that they say Apostle Lobu attended service. After service, nine people begin die for the brand. God forbid. Pastor, after pray with them. After pray with them. Because I didn't see any other evil spirit coming in to trouble the church. It is we that are in the church that are the trouble of the church. Who give devil eye? If we all have dissolved our partnership with him, how can he creep in here to torment anybody? How can he become Goliath? That a voice will be coming from the cross to tell us every Goliath he will be swallowed up. Church, praise the Lord, I beg. Whether you are happy or not happy, praise the Lord. Oh. You are all blessed in Jesus' name. So, beloved one, Advertise your new management today. Tell somebody, Jesus loves you. Tell somebody, I am under a new management. Tell somebody, the devil has no power over me. Uh, let people know you are under new management. And as you do this, it shall be well with you. I pray God Almighty to bless you. And wherever you are weak, to change partnership completely, God give you the enablement to overcome. God give you enablement to conquer. God give you enablement to overthrow them. In the name of Jesus Christ. And you will remain safe and secure. Under new management. Thank you and God bless you.